Hi everyone, I'm Elle. Welcome to my ethical fashion YouTube channel. If you're new here, I upload every week, so feel free to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. And today we're diving into the world of pre-loved fashion by exploring Love Island's long-standing partnership with eBay. So grab your matcha or your favorite drink because I'm about to spill some serious tea on how eBay is changing the game in 2024. This year marks a huge milestone. It's the fifth series eBay has partnered with Love Island to bring pre-loved fashion into the mass spotlight. And let me tell you, it's not just about making sustainable fashion look good, it's about making it the hottest trend out there. eBay has been on a mission to shift how we see secondhand clothing. They no longer want the used stigma, instead they want clothing to be seen as a very stylish option. And they've seriously leveled up their game with their amazing new features. First off, they removed seller fees in the UK to boost sales of unwanted clothing. So if you're in the UK, selling closet gems has gotten so much easier. And if you're like me and I'm dreading writing out descriptions, eBay has got you covered with their AI powered listings it's like honestly having your own personal stylist making sure your pre-loved items reach the right buyers by helping you say the right thing in your listing and the impact is actually mind-blowing this is not sponsored but get this searches for love islands inspired pre-loved outfits have shot up by four thousand percent and 65 percent of gen z are now buying pre-loved fashion on ebay because of the love island effect it used to be at only 19 percent i think it should come at no surprise then that many watchers would want to have the same iconic villa looks for cheap and ebay's head of fashion Gemma tad has shared how attitudes towards pre-loved fashion has totally shifted she's explained that people are no longer just shopping fast fashion they're going for sustainable pieces that don't kill their bank account and honestly slay for a fun time out and do you know what's even cooler she's even said how much easier it is to sell your unwanted trendy fits and pieces. Um, eBay has estimated that the average closet has about 600 euros worth of items just waiting to be sold and that's a serious side hustle that's just waiting to happen given we're constantly cycling clothing in and out of our closet. And as inspiration eBay has also brought in some of our favorite islanders calling them stylanders that's so cute to show off how pre-loved fashion can be just as stylish as new pieces and it's working because the love island fashion hub on ebay's uk has been buzzing with fans snagging not only villa looks but getting up to 60 percent off in perfect items all with ebay's authenticity guarantee and that's generally a win-win-win scenario for ebay the reseller and for us the buyers and so yeah there you have it i just wanted to share how ebay and love island are literally changing the way we shop it's something we should be aware of because it's making sustainable fashion not only accessible but super desirable so whether you're buying selling or just vibing with the pre-loved movement ebay literally wants to have your back i'm personally a huge fan of ebay and have been a reseller on sustainable fashion in the past there so i'll be uploading pieces that i no longer want in the next Next week so if you want to support feel free the link will be in my description so this is the second part to the video i'm filming this on saturday i think there's just a bunch of good additional information and final takeaways that i wanted to share i usually film over here um it's a saturday again so don't mind the hair i just showered so one of the things that i realized is not every piece that you see on the show is actually from ebay so the islanders were working with two stylist teams one from ebay and the other one was just a general love island crew so even though so there is a big focus on pre-loved fashion it's not an exclusive eBay thing all the time and so here's how it worked so weeks before the show even started the Islanders met with the stylist during press and media shots um, so this was just a way to get a feel for their personal style and see how they like their clothes to fit and with that info in hand the stylist would you know hunt down the pieces that they thought would work with each islander so that was pretty cool that's a lot of intention for the clothing 
and throughout the season their closet would actually get updated weekly with new options and the ebay hangers were used to clearly mark which items were which so pre-loved um so the islanders knew exactly what was what and to keep things fresh which is quite a literal term there is a wash bin in the show for the pieces they would want to get clean so they could rewear them and the cool thing is that when the islanders arrived they also had their own suitcase full of their own clothes which means that overall their closet was full of their personal style new options and pre-loved options from the show's wardrobe so essentially they got to choose what they wanted to wear based on their own fit and their own style and also one of the cool things ebay did was offer one-of-a-kind pieces from the really vast selection honestly which is a great way to showcase just the diversity of pre-loved fashion out there and to make it really easy for the viewers ebay created a special shop on the love island app that actually links directly to their website they even held auctions for their pieces similar to what you see on the show but here's where it gets kind of interesting so for the viewers it may not actually be really clear which pieces are pre-loved unless it's explicitly pointed out and also if islanders were wearing pre-loved fast fashion pieces it might actually push viewers to go straight to the original brand instead of checking you know ebay so while the intention is good there's always that risk that partnerships might un unintentionally drive some people back to fast fashion and so finally those ebay collections that you've seen while super cool honestly could potentially lead to overconsumption. viewers might see something they didn't even realize they needed or they wanted until it's popped up on their feed until it's on their screen and we all know how easy it is to click add to cart without really thinking about it so yeah these are my final thoughts on the love island slash ebay partnership and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe for more ethical fashion content and let me know in the comments what's your favorite pre-loved look from the villa this season or last season until next time peace and love l